Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to this walkthrough of L.A. Noir. This is Blackjack Kent, and we are still on the arson desk, and still making a uh, sort of unfortunate name for ourselves. Uh, we didn't have too much luck with our last case, um, which we fingered the wrong guy. And uh, so we're now going to go check out another house fire on North Hobart and see if we can't uh, do a little bit better for ourselves over here at the Wilshire Police Station. So, drive, drive. me, Herschel. I need to go over the case notes. Take me where I gotta go. You hear about Rancho Escondido? Are we having a conversation, Biggs? Okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm teasing you, Herschel. Tell me about it. Well, the new housing development is a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. The developer's going to have some very angry customers. Huh. Rancho Escondido. I wonder if that's going to turn out to be relevant to us at all. Or if Herschel is just warming up and coming out of his shell and making conversation. Well, he can talk about his houses burning down. That's sort of depressing. Are we gonna work with what's his face again, the fireman? I liked him. He seemed to know his shit. This house is still pretty much standing. Last. Oh no! The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Are they still up to their old tricks? Mel. You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Uh oh. I'm not sure I have a strong stomach, so... Do you have a name? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. It doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved them into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? Hmm. I sense a little bit of somebody being rather messed up here. There's the family photo. You ever think about how many people have died in this world? And how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? No, I have not. Show some respect. <laughs> not entirely sure supposed to mean? Alright, let's look at these guys. Ugh. What are they doing? The prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. The prayer effect. Interesting. Can I zoom in on them at all or anything? No? Okay. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? You got the wrong guy. That uh, doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fires? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. Probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. <laughs> I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. He could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? Sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Jesus. <laughs> evidence! Uh <laughs> Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phil. So I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating pigs. That is a good question. What's going on, Mr. Biggs? What's wrong? 
You want to talk about it? I wonder if he lost someone in a fire once or something. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the second Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You get this? You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around, work the neighbors, see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. I haven't done this for years. <laughs> All right. So I wonder you if don't there look was. Like a fireman, son. I wonder if there was no way to get the right guy on the uh, on that last mission. It makes me feel better. <laughs> I guess. Hey, dude. You talk. LAPD. Can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Bond. James Bond. Tell me about the fire, Mr. Bond. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. I am not sure I buy that, because you seemed very eager to tell me so. Uh... I'm just gonna doubt, because, I mean, we have nothing against this guy right now. You didn't like yeah. Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. Alright, so, same general situation as the previous ones. You said someone is knocking these houses down. Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> he looks really angry all of a sudden. Uh, I'm gonna say doubt again, uh, just cause I get the impression that this is the sort of guy who knows what's going on with the people around him, but... Whatever yes. you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. Oh. But you did it, Morelli. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. Hmm. Once again, I sort of feel like you probably do know, but... Hmm. Yeah. He's looking much more direct than in the previous questions, though. I'm gonna go ahead and say truth. You didn't enter yourself? Yes. I'd already agreed to sell. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. Ah. Hm. All right. Well, that tells us some things, I guess. Uh, do we go talk to Biggs now? What happens? 
I'm not sure what's going on. What's the word, Herschel? Got anything sorted? Let's try not to get run over. What's the word? I'm stumped. Ideas? Okay. More from the neighbors called. Keep working. I already talked to the only neighbor I could find. So you have to go knock on doors now? Is that the idea? You have anything else to say? All a man can do is put in a prayer for the dead. About all I've got to say. Alright. Um. I guess we'll go knock on some doors then. Uh. Let's try these dudes. Knock there. About there. No. Let's try the door that Herschel was standing at. It's got a gold doorknob. Hello. No. I'm confuzzled. Very, very confuzzled. What's going on? How about over here? How about you? you talk? Not the guy who's pretending to be dead. Here. All right. Uh, I will cut to when I figure this out. <clears throat> oh, wait. There's more clues over here. Maybe. Maybe that gives us more questions. Insta heat water heater. Looks like the same model. Varley. Varley, you bastard. Um. He was the one I arrested, though, wasn't it? And he was the wrong guy, so. Hmm. Alright. Uh. I still haven't had the. all the clues music yet, so. Hey, it's another paper. I swear, this town is going straight Housing development burns. Ex-serviceman, I rate as GI houses raised. Rancho Escondido, this is the thing that uh, Herschel was talking about. Five more dead in North Hobart Boulevard blaze. How did you get my number, Ira? At first I didn't understand you. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now. Doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, Doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fires should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it. <laughs> Look what you have done, Mr. Fontaine. Look what you have done. You have made a big mess of things, Mr. Fontaine. Unfortunately, Cole doesn't know that yet. Uh, there's still... The music is still indicating that there's still clues to find, which... I guess we need to do before we talk to any more neighbors, maybe. Uh, what am I missing here? I was married by a judge. Ah! Footprints. Or, no. Cigarette? Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brand looks distinctive. Calderon. Okay. Is that everything? Maybe? No? 
Oh, okay. We gotta look at the footprints, too. No, not those. Okay, there we go. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. Hmm. Hey, there we go. Can we talk to you again? You know anything about the footprints? Uh -huh. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. Well, we've seen your truth face, and that's not your truth face. Um. So, doubt? You sure, Mr. Foreman? Yes. There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, beat up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, oh, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Ain't that helpful of you. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? Hold a piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? <laughs> sure. Origami bird. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Huh. Isn't this a theme in uh, hey, Heavy don't Rain, break it. too? I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. Or what? Building a better California. It's Elysian Fields. For Elysian Fields developments. Is that the same flyer that What's His Face is getting us? Leland Monroe, that was the name that, uh, for, what was his name, Foreman mentioned? So that's our guy, I guess, who runs the company. Oh, I see you already have one. Same thing. Almost. With the thing when did the, the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. All right. Plot continues to thicken. Let's go talk to the magic r and I lady. And have her explain everything. Let me through. I just want to find the box. Where is it? There it is. Is somebody going to tell us what the hell's going on? 